Okay, guys, this is the tutorial for the practice activity from the previous lecture. It's pretty easy. I will show you how I've done it. You start by creating something like this. So you have simple circles that are growing. You notice how? Simple. Let's see how this was done, the circles. If you come to the mat itself, all I have here is an ellipse that I use two repeater, two repeated horizontally and vertically. The first repeater, we take this ellipse and repeat it just down. Okay, I have a four or five copies, something like this. The second repeater will take the ellipse and repeat it horizontally. Maybe you have seven or eight of them. Okay, depending on the size of your ellipse. Combined, they will give you horizontal and vertical replication. Cool. Now the animation here, I did not use the copy, but I used the transform for the ellipse itself, or I call it here the shape. I will show you why I added more shapes to demonstrate to you. It's actually animating the scale from 0%, the circle starts growing, and then to much more than 100% to cover the whole screen. So actually you have a very nice mat. Now, before switching to the effect, notice that you can use different kinds of shapes. For example, I'm showing you about the ellipse, but you can use the rectangle, which with the effect will give you something very nice. The rectangle, of course, you draw one rectangle, repeat it down, then repeat it horizontally, or the other way around, it doesn't matter. And it's not animated, so you can really adjust it the way you want. And you animate the scale of the shape itself, not the layer, guys. Okay, not the transform from the layer, but the shape itself. Cool. Now you can have also a polystar, which in our case here, it's a polygon that has eight sides. If you go back and see how the polystar is working, it's pretty nice. Maybe you would like to stop over here. But I am greedy, I would like to add more effects. So if you come to the mat itself, and let's choose, for example, the ellipse to start with, and you have the vector here. This is the CC vector blur. The CC ve vector blur is very easy to use. Notice what's happening. It's trying to blur all around it. So you can have several types, for example, the constant length, if you like, the perpendicular, whatever type you want to have, you can decide, okay, this is what I want to have within my transition. Here you are. Now, this is pretty beautiful here. Depends on your taste and how you want to tweak it. Cool. So within the vector blur, you have a lot of choices to create your ellipse or to create your mat. Notice it's quite beautiful. I chose natural and it's quite cool for me. Notice it's not bad at all. Fine. The amount, it depends on how much you want to do. You can make it excessive, small, whatever. I did not use the angle offset. I just left it the way it is. But it's just kind of rotation if you like. Pretty easy to use, and you can fiddle with it the way you want. So here, let's see how the polystar will look like. Okay. If you go to the main comp now. So this is done, and we have used a single effect. How about if I use the radial blur? And the radial blur now is a blur, but from the center has a certain effect that's pretty beautiful. Let's go see it. And you have this kind of effect if you like. Fine. Pretty cool. But also, I like to fiddle a bit with the radial blur, you know, put it over here. Okay, that's what's happening now. And maybe decrease it a bit. Okay, just like this. So notice the animation here or the mat itself. It is uh, quite amazing just with a simple addition of a blur. Now, if you go back, depends on your taste. You can tweak it the way you like. And here you are. So actually, it's pretty easy. A shape and a couple of repeaters, some uh, vector blur and radial blur. And notice you could have other blurs that you can use. And here you are. You have a professional transition. And so it's up to you guys now to come and play and find the transition you will want to create. Please, guys, render your transition or render a sample video like I have done here and post it on YouTube. And let me see. Let everybody see your work and be proud of what you're doing. 
if you complete this course, you will have a ton of transitions that you can use in your projects or give to your friends or even sell if you like. I'll see you in the next lecture.